This week in our Go Gardening series, we want to focus on America's favorite fruit, or is it a veggie? We're talking about tomatoes. This is one of the most asked about vegetables that we have on Backyard Farmer on the regular show. So if you want to learn to grow a tomato, what do you do? It's actually pretty simple. It's one of the easiest vegetables to grow for the home gardener. You have many choices. If you want to start your tomatoes from seed, you can certainly do that. A mistake people make is they start them way too early. Then they get lank, then they get leggy, then they get unhappy, and then they're hard to transplant into the garden. So pay attention to your frost-free date because tomatoes are a vegetable that absolutely does not like temperatures, and that includes soil temperature in particular, that are too low. If you plant way early in the season, they're just going to suffer. So typically we say six to eight weeks prior to that last frost date for the area in which you live, start them in a good media in the greenhouse or in your, on your windowsill. Watering is essential. Turn them, make sure they get enough light. An easier way for people who really don't want to go to that trouble or they're just not interested in it is go ahead and buy seedlings that have been started by somebody who knows what they're doing. In other words, one of your local garden centers or somebody who provides good tomato plants. Again, planting them in the garden, you can do it early, but, but we really don't usually recommend that. Now, one of the cool things about tomatoes is if you pinch off those lower leaves and you either lay them flat or you dig a big deep hole, they will actually root along all those locations where the old leaves were. So you wanna make sure you have great soil. We talked about soil earlier on in our Go Gardening series. Good soil, amend that planting hole so that that tomato plant has a lot of nutrients. Check your spacing. Make sure that you give it enough room because some of those things can get humongous in the garden. Go ahead and plant when the soil temps are right. They need six hours of sunlight at least a day to be able to uh, fruit and flower appropriately. So if you're in too shady of an environment, you're not going to be able to get tomatoes to grow. You wanna make sure that as they are growing, you are very consistent in your watering practices. Um, we see a lot of disease issues, particularly associated with blossom end rot, later on in the season if one, one week they're wet, then they are dry for two or three weeks, then they're, they're wet again. So make sure you are consistent in your watering practices. If you wanna use a starter fertilizer to begin with when you put them in the garden, that is a good idea. Then we also take a, a look at what are the fertility needs as they are fruiting and then later on. So when they're about the size of a golf ball, if they are one that gets big, or if they are about maybe half maturity size, you wanna go ahead and fertilize. Same thing after you make that first harvest. Most tomatoes need staking or caging. We use the words determinate and indeterminate. Determinate means they're going to put on all their fruit at one time, you pick and you're finished. Indeterminate, they grow, they flower, they fruit, they grow, they flower, they fruit. So the cages need to be substantial and sturdy and hold up to our winds. You wanna watch for diseases and insect pressure because we do have pretty significant issues with some of those. Tomato hornworm, white flies can be a problem, early blight, late blight, um, some of the leaf spot diseases, some of the viruses you cannot do anything about. So what you wanna make sure also, if you're choosing your tomato plants or your seeds, if you are concerned about those issues, choose plants or seeds varieties that are indexed to be resistant to those things. And if you're growing heirlooms, you're likely going to be dealing with all of them. So enjoy the process of planting those tomato plants in your garden or starting those seeds, and certainly enjoy the fruits of your labor.